there. I'm Stephanie Ready. So glad you're with us as we get you ready for tip off now. The Hornets are on a nice little winning streak, have won three straight games. We talked with Gerald Henderson, one of your co captains, after the last victory, and he talked about the reasons why not only is this team starting to find some fluidity out there, but he as an individual is looking a lot better on both sides of the basketball. Wow, it's the movement of the ball, the movement of people, but it's also his slashing ability and the ability to make the defense play honest that he exploits those vulnerable spaces. It's been a lot of fun to watch Gerald Henderson and his coach and his teammates agree that Gerald Henderson is perfectly suited for quick ball movement on the offensive end, and it makes his defense shine even brighter. All right, everybody, so glad you're here with us at halftime. You know we want to talk about what happened in the first half, show you how we got to where we are. We had a couple options to choose the key player of the first half. We went full. We talked about the key player of the first half being Cody Zeller. It's time now to take a look at our first half stats brought to you by your local GM. To look forward to that now. As we promised you in the last segment, we've got a special treat for you today. Today is the birthday of Mr. Muhammad Ali. We celebrate the birthday of one of the most important sports icon figures in the history of sports. Happy birthday to the greatest. I'm Stephanie Reddy. Hope you continue to stay with us the entire halftime. We'll go over the first half and get you ready for the second. It's time now for our key player of the first half, brought to you by Auto. I'm Stephanie Reddy. So glad you're with us and glad you decided to celebrate with us the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this holiday. And because it is the holiday, you know your Charlotte Hornets have always played on this day. It's become a tradition for this franchise. We thought we would speak with some of the players about their thoughts on the importance of this day. I'm Stephanie Reddy. So glad you're here with us. Halftime is going to be packed like I told you it would. We're going to start off with our key player of the first half. It's brought to you by Auto Bell. Back inside Time Warner Cable Arena, I'm Stephanie Reddy. It's time now to take a look at our first half stats, and by the score, you know it's going to be a pretty sight. Stephanie Reddy, so glad you're here with us as we get you ready for a tip-off. And tonight, we want to talk about the effect of Big Al. Yes, Big Al made his return last game. He only played 25 minutes, and of course, he's not yet 100%, but let's show you. I'm so glad you're here with us. We're going to talk a little bit about the first half before we get you ready for the second half. We had several choices for key player of the first half. We went with Reddy, so glad you're with us as we get you ready for the second half. Let's talk a little bit about the first half statistics. We'll be so glad you're here with us as we get you ready for the game. And your Hornets are on a tear defensively. Del Curry and I just talked about their streak. While in the month of January, they've been fantastic. Of course, they're eight and two, but it's the defense that's told the story. The reason why that's important tonight specifically, the Cavs have been on a tear offensively, scoring at least 100 points in their last five games. See who wins out. My vote goes for defense. Now, as promised, we've got a special treat for you. Our Toyota Inside Look tonight features your Charlotte Hornets telling us what they like, what they dislike. You're going to love this one. It's brought to you by the Toyota Camry. It's bold. It's new Toyota. Are you ready? So glad you're here with us as we get you ready for tip-off. And this evening, I'd like to talk about your Charlotte Hornets' last three first-round draft picks, the young men that are the key cog in the success that they found here lately. Of course, I'm speaking of Michael Kidd Gilkey. Christ, Bismarck, Biambo, and Cody Zeller, and they're for the New York Knicks. So, you know, you lose one star, they lose one star. Maybe things will balance themselves out. Now, the Knicks, as I mentioned, are here to take on your Hornets. You might recall the last time these two teams met, the Hornets handled them quite easily from beginning to end. Of course, they didn't have Carmelo Anthony that time either. They had the worst record in the Eastern Conference with only eight wins, the Knicks do, so it's the perfect game to rebound from last night's debacle in Cleveland. That game was certainly one to forget. And speaking of one that we'll never forget, how about Charlotte Hornets legend Muggsy Bogues? Point guard extraordinaire, fan favorite. He's quite memorable, not just for his play on the court, but his overall perseverance and his personal story. And in fact, we have a treat for you guys tonight. We have a look at the Hornets legend, Muggsy Bogues. Our friends at Raycom Sports were nice enough to share it with us, and this happens to be our Toyota Inside Look brought to you. Join us. I'm Stephanie Reddy. So glad you're here with us as we get you ready for tip-off. We're going to forget all about last night and move on to positive things. This month has been spectacular. You know, I don't want you to be short-sighted, remembering yesterday. I want you to think big picture. The month of January for your Hornets has been beautiful as we take a look at our Nissan. It's a home game, but because your Hornets have had such great fan support here inside Time Warner Cable Arena, it's really helped carry over into their play on the court. We hope that that will continue tonight, and you will be glad you're here with us at halftime. Hornets got things together as we close the first half. They really closed the deficit. They're only down by one now, which is great news to start the half. We had a couple choices for key player of the first half. We decided to go with Cody Zell. I'm Stephanie Reddy. Glad you're here with us as we get you.
two ready for tip off. Your Hornets are getting set to take on the Spurs. Now, as most of you know, Kemba Walker, the starting point guard for the Hornets, is out. He had a successful surgery this morning with the knee. We wish him well with his recovery, but he will be out at least six weeks. What will the Hornets do in his absence? Well, of course, Brian Roberts will move into the starting point guard position, but who's Stephanie ready? And I'm so glad you're here with us as we get you ready for the game. And as I promised you, we've got a special look at one of your Charlotte Hornets players, Jason Maxiel, a veteran player. It's his first year on this Hornets roster, but he has been around the league for quite some time. And the reason why is because he understands how to be a professional. And that's just not on the basketball court, but also how you help lead a locker room. Well, we're going to let you hear what his teammates and his head coach think about him. His name is Jason Maxiel, and he's the feature of our Toyota Inside Look brought to